Thermalsif assay, also known as thermofloor, is a way to check the relative stability of proteins and complexes in various buffers to improve stability by modifying the purification and storage buffer accordingly. A number of dyes can be used in a thermofloor experiment, such as Cypro Orange and CPM. Cypro Orange binds to the hydrophobic core of an unfolding protein in solution, while CPM binds to the exposed cysteine of protein. The fluorescence from these dyes is quenched in an aqueous environment. Many thermofluor assays start at moderate temperature and measure the fluorescence response from this point up to high temperature. For structural biology, in particular crystallography, the production of protein and the production of crystals from the protein are limited due to protein stability issues. Among the factors that may influence protein stability are generic ingredients like buffer, salts, and detergents whose interaction with the protein are non-specific. Thermofluor assays can be used to screen these generic ingredients in order to get the condition where the protein of interest is most stable. At the beginning of an ideal experiment, the protein is well folded and there is little interaction between the dye and the protein. The dye is in the bulk solution and its fluorescence is quenched in this aqueous environment. As the dye protein mixture is heated, the protein unfolds, exposing its hydrophobic core to which dye binds. As the protein continues to unfold, the fluorescence from bound dye increases. At some point, the unfolded protein chains aggregate, excluding dye in the process. The excluded dye is returned to the surrounding aqueous environment or is simply quenched at higher temperatures and the fluorescence signal decreases. The temperature versus fluorescence plot from this ideal experiment has a flat pre-transition region, a steep sigmoidal unfolding region, and an aggregated region. The value most often reported from this assay is the temperature of the midpoint of the sigmoidal transition region of the fluorescence curve, which is the temperature of hydrophobic exposure, usually reported as the melting temperature or DM. In this experiment, we will do buffer screen to find a condition where lysozyme is the most stable. The screening will be done in a 96 file format using 96 different conditions. Before starting, take out the dye and buffer screen from the fridge to room temperature. To start the experiment, turn on the real-time PCI instrument and the computer. Open the MX Pro QPCR software. Select the option Cyber Green with dissociation curve and be sure that the option turn the lamp on for warm up is selected then press ok while we are waiting for the lamp to warm up for around half an hour we will do the experimental setup the first experiment that we did was pre-screening the aim of pre-screening is to optimize the protein dye concentration we aim to minimize the use of protein while obtaining a good signal from the fluorescence dye. First, we will prepare protein dilutions according to the protocol. And second, we will prepare the dye dilutions with water or buffer according to the protocol. Once we have the diluted protein and the dye, we will pipette 12.5 microliter of the buffer into the thermal floor plate at the bottom. Then we will pipette 5 microliter of protein solution onto one side of the well. Next, we will pipette 7.5 microliter of the Cypro orange dye on the other side of the well so that the protein solution and the dye wouldn't mix with each other. Now seal the plate. Spin the plate at room temperature 500 G for 1 minute and we will put the 96 well plate to an adapter for the spinning.
After spinning, vortex the plate gently. Make sure the solutions are still at the bottom of the plate. If not, spin again. Now the sample is good to go. When the sample is ready, open the door of the PCR machine. Be sure to pull gently and lift the black handle. Place the 9060 Pro plate firmly to the metal measuring plate adapter. Pull the black handle, close the lid and push the handle in. Close the door and we will set up the experiment on the computer. During the measurement, the samples will be heated from 25 degrees up to 95 degrees with a rate of 1 degree per 30 seconds. The measurements are carried out every step every 30 seconds and 31 measurements will be done. Excitation for the cypro orange dye is performed at 387 nanometer, while the emission wavelength is 463 nanometer. The program takes around 40 minutes to run. After finishing, click on the tab results. Tick amplification plot from the options given on the upper right corner and select R multi component view. From the main menu, select File. Export chart data, export chart data to Excel, format 2, horizontally grouped by plot. Excel will open and the file can then be processed further. Select the tab results. Take dissociation curve from the options given on the upper right corner and select Minus RT. From the main menu, select File, Export Chart Data, Export Chart Data to Excel, Format 2, Horizontally Grouped by Plot. Excel will open and then the file can be processed. In the pre screening session, we used one single buffer condition to perform the experiment. So from the results, we can analyze which protein dye concentration has the best match and provide the highest melting temperature for the protein. After deciding what protein dye concentration to use, we will screen the buffer. First, we will prepare dye dilutions with water or buffer according to the protocol. And second, protein dilutions according to the protocol. First, we will prepare 7.5 microliter of the cypro orange dye on the other side of the well. Next, pipette 12.5 microliter of the buffer into the thermal floor plate at the bottom. Then we will pipette 5 microliter of protein solution onto one side of the well. Now seal the plate. Spin the plate at room temperature, 500 G for one minute. 
and we will put the 96 well plate to an adapter for the spinning. When the sample is ready, open the door of the PCR machine. Be sure to pull gently and lift the black handle. Place the 96 deep well plate firmly to the metal meshing plate adapter. Pull the black handle, close the lid and push the handle in. Close the door and we will set up the experiment on the computer. The program takes around 40 minutes to run. After finishing, click on the tab results from the options given on the upper right corner and select R multi-component view. From the main menu, select File, Export Chart Data, Export Chart Data to Excel, Format 2, Horizontally Grouped by Plot. Excel will open and the file can then be processed further. Select the tab results. Tick dissociation curve from the options given on the upper right corner and select minus RT. From the main menu, select file, export chart data, export chart data to Excel, format 2, horizontally grouped by plot. Excel will open and then the file can be processed.